camera to go on. Okay, guys. So I've had a few people message me who are you know current clients um, with my online coaching program, and I've had people in the gym this week who've actually asked me, um, "What is periodization?" Like you know they're having a workout that they're following, and the workout is consistent for four weeks. And someone says to me, "Hey, um, I think something's wrong with your program because I'm doing the same workout." Um, two, three, four weeks into the program, okay? So the, there's a whole point to training. And you gotta remember one thing that when you are in, introducing stimulus to your body, and when you are going from a non-active person to an active person, there's a lot of changes that happen in your body. And your body is a beautiful machine that will actually try to pick up what's going on, learn what's going on, and then get stronger, faster for you, right? So the one thing you wanna make sure is when you're starting a fitness program, make sure you have something planned out, okay? And the whole point of doing a periodization training program is to have something that's planned, that can be manipulated, or it's, it's planned manipulation of training variables and what's happening is you're controlling the load that you're using, you're controlling the sets that you're using and the repetitions. And a lot of times when people are training, they're just following a regular routine. They're not really um, doing something that's changing each week. And if you're not changing your program week after week, your body's gonna get too accustomed to it. Now, when someone says, why am I doing the same program for four weeks? You wanna give your body the ability to one, slowly adapt to the program. You want your body to get used to the load you're using, which should change as the weeks progress. You should get your body adaptive so that it doesn't get overtraining, you prevent overtraining. And you also wanna make sure that your body isn't changing each week. So some people say, well, I like changing my workouts each week. Well, if you're changing your workouts each week, let's say Monday you do total body and then Wednesday you do an upper lower split, and then Thursday you do Tabata, and then Friday you do something different, yes, it's good because you're shocking your body, but there's so much shock that's happening that your body isn't understanding, can I get stronger? Your body isn't seeing a difference. Whereas if you were doing a total body workout Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and on Tuesdays and Thursdays you were doing a 15 minute core cardio workout, your body would be able to get used to that. Okay, so central nervous system, your body and brain are getting used to the workout. One, you can start seeing things that are changing. Is the load getting easier each week? Is the amount of repetitions you're performing improving? Is the amount of rest time you're taking in between sets getting less? So are you getting stronger? And if you're able to design a proper periodization program for you, at the end of the four week period, that's when you change it and go to something brand new. Because a lot of people are, are kind of confused and they think that every workout should be different. So I wrote down here an example of, an easy example you can see of how you would change a program with periodization. So let's say you're squatting, okay? You're squatting 225 pounds. Now for the women out there who are listening, obviously this is just something as an example, but let's say you're squatting 225 and you're doing eight to 10 reps for three sets in the first week, okay? Well, then you may choose to go to 265 pounds for four to six reps for three to four sets in the second week. Then you may go to a heavier weight at 300 pounds for two to four sets, two to four reps, and three to six sets after that. So the routine is staying the same, but what you're doing is you're manipulating the variables you can. And remember, there's gonna be frequency, intensity, the type of exercise, and the time you're taking in between. Okay, so those are things that you can, you can change in terms of variables. Now, a lot of people will say, well, is that the only method of changing a work of periodization? No, what you can do is you can change things like starting off with a total body workout for month one. Then you can go to a push-pull hypertrophy program for month two. Then you can go to an upper push, lower pull, and then upper pull, lower push. Then you can go into circuit training. But again, if, if every four weeks your program is staying consistent, and you're keeping the same program, you will notice in week four that you are lifting more weights, you're getting less rest, or you're getting more repetitions than week one and two. So that's how your body is learning to adapt. So it's not a bad thing if you follow a program for three to four weeks, 
What happens is if you continuously do the same program for five weeks, six weeks, your body goes, hey, I'm used to this. There's no stimulus, right? Unless you're taking an hour workout and doing it in 20 minutes. That's a big shock. Now, next, if we're looking at um, different phases of periodization, like I told you, you could go with intensity. So you may have, turn that off. You may have one week where you're training at 50% intensity. Let's say you're running for track and field or you're doing a marathon and you want to run, you know, um, a 2K or a 3K run at 50% intensity. Then the next week you go to 60% intensity. The next week, 65, 70, 75. By changing those variables in the periodization principle you're designing, you can see is your body getting stronger? Are you able to complete the same distance in shorter time or more time? Okay. Um, someone asked as well, what is the aim of hypertrophy? Okay. So it's mostly used in resistance training. Resistance training, weight training is the most popular form of using periodization. Um, you want to avoid overtraining and you want to systematically alternate high loads of training with decreased load phases. Okay, like I told you before, you change the load into either heavier reps, you drop the sets, you drop your rest time, okay? Um, the classic approach to periodization for beginners is typically a linear form of periodization. And this is something um, that is typically where for heavier, you, you do heavier weights for first week, progressing to a higher training volume and then lower intensity. So let's say you do three sets of 12 to 15. The next week you may go to four sets of eight to 10. The next week you may go to five sets of six to eight. So you can always change the repetitions from there. And again, if you're concerned about a training program that you're doing and you don't feel you're getting the results, it's time to change it. A lot of times when people are not getting results, you've got to look at there's many different variables you can change at. First and foremost, are you tracking the weight you're lifting? Secondly, is your nutrition in par? Are you eating in a caloric deficit or a caloric surplus? So for example, I'm injured right now, got my shoulder all taped up. I'm getting really, really good in terms of my range of motion. As you can see, a week and a half ago, I could not do this, okay? Working with a great physio, Mr. Mike, and he's helping me out. Now, what I'm doing to increase the load for myself now is I'm using bands and I'm changing the amount of time that I'm holding the band out. So when I first started, it was just isometric contractions, holding onto a pole, pushing across. I'm slowly changing that now. I'm increasing the amount of space between me and the distance of, of the where the band is stretching. So for example, if I'm two feet away from a bar and then I move to three feet away from the bar, I'm increasing the intensity of the load on that. I'm also slowly progressing from isometric to band movements. And today I finally got into using some dumbbells or some light free weights, like two pound dumbbells, holding it in different areas to strengthen and get stable stability in my shoulder. Now, as I slowly build and progress, I'm keeping the same program that I'm working on, but I'm just changing the variables. So one is gonna be load, okay? Two can be the intensity. Am I training at a higher intensity? 60%, 70%, okay? The type of exercise. So going from body weight, calisthenic, to band, to now a free weight, to change it up, or I can use cables. And then the time. When I first started, I was doing two second holds. Now I'm up to 10 second holds. So doing a workout that is the same for four weeks, three, four weeks, is not a bad thing. What you want to focus on is changing the internal variables of the workout. That way you can see what's working and what's not working. You can see if you're progressing and getting stronger. And if you're doing the same workout and four weeks has passed by and you're not lifting more weights, you're not doing the same workout in less period of time, you're not doing more sets or more load in the smaller period of time, it's time to change your workout. Okay. And if you need help with changing your workout, happy to help you out. Send me a DM. I can give you something that's body type specific to assist you. If you live in the city of Vaughan, pass by our studio, try us out. And you'll notice that in the semi-private coaching program we have in our team metabolic conditioning classes, not only do we train people based on body type, which is like beyond periodization, which is another systematic program that we use to specialize our training. So if someone's trying to gain weight, someone's trying to lose weight, in the same class, our coaches can coach them together 
but give them the different fit principles. Got it? Um, but if you're looking at doing a program, you're not near Vaughn and you're watching from somewhere else, DM me today, just send back and just say, need help with my program. And we'll set up a time, a call for you, we'll go through it. But changing your routine every four weeks is recommended. And if you like the program you're on, go inside and change the variables. And remember, this, the acronym is FIT. Frequency, how many times a week are you training? Intensity, what is the load? Is it 50%, 60%, 80%, is it 90%? Uh, a day ago, you watched one of my videos where I was pressing a 70 pound dumbbell and I had a 15 pound dumbbell in my right hand. So although my body was off balance and I was trying to you know, balance myself, the load that I'm putting on my right shoulder is far lower in intensity, okay? So frequency, intensity, the T is for time, okay? How much time are you putting? Are you resting for a minute? Are you resting for 30 seconds? Or are you training for 30 seconds or training for 60 seconds? And then the type of exercise is also important. That's your last T where, let's say you're looking for weight loss, okay? You're a male, 40 plus, and you're used to doing cardio. Well, if you just went to dumbbells and did a small dumbbell complex in your basement, you're changing the type of workout you're doing, you're changing the type of exercise you're doing, you get better results, okay? If you said, you know what, a month has gone by, I miss my cardio, I'm gonna blend them both together. I'm gonna blend a free weight workout with a cardiovascular workout. You can easily do a circuit where you do two exercises, let's say you do dumbbell thrusters, you squat down, press the ceiling, you do sets of 15, and then you do like a Romanian deadlift or maybe a bent over row. Then you could do jumping jacks or jogging for two minutes and then go back to the weights and then go back to the jogging. That's gonna shock your body. That is how you take a basic program. You just add elements to it. And every month you can add an element. And if you're not adding an element to your program each and every month, your body's gonna plateau. And then when people say, I don't know, my program's not working, my gym's not working, my coach isn't working. It's not the coach, it's not the gym, it's you. Your program isn't changing. And here's an easy scenario. If I were to give you chicken and salad every night for dinner, doesn't matter how I cook the chicken, doesn't matter how I make my salad, if it's the same bloody food over and over again, your body and you will start to not like it. But if I gave you chicken salad, I gave you beef salad, I gave you a different style of, of meal every second, third day, and then I gave you on Friday that chicken salad, you'd be like, yes, I like this, I, I missed it, you know, and I, and I enjoy eating it. So the body's no different. You need to make sure that you're shocking your body with intensity. Um, for those of you who, like me, have been training for many, many years, this is gonna be my 28th year training, April 25th, my birthday, 28 years of training. So imagine how hard it is to shock my body. I've been through bodybuilding shows, I've been through capoeira, I've been through CrossFit, I've been through gymnastics, I've been through Thai boxing. My body has developed a certain resistance level to training. So now the only way to shock it is by going to the drawing board, changing again the frequency, intensity, time, and type of exercise, and then also changing your nutrition. nutrition. Thanks so much for watching. For those of you who are watching, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Remember, at the end of the day, your attitude is everything, and uh, I love your support. Take care, have a great day, and peace.